Rogue One is almost here and I am ecstatic. Did you see that one part in the trailer with Darth Vader? I know he was only there for a second, but I just, I haven't seen him on the screen since I, 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 I no. So let's talk about the first game in my favorite Star Wars video game series, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. All right, so when I was in high school, we had this show called Channel One. Now, I don't know if this is on anymore, but we would watch it every single morning. And when it went to commercial one day, they showed a trailer for Rogue Squadron. I went nuts. You know how much I wanted to play this game? I got it the exact same day as Ocarina of Time, and I didn't start playing it until I had finished Rogue Squadron. Let that set the mood for my hype. So in Rogue Squadron, it's all about flying starships to defend the galaxy. Depending on the level you're playing, you have your choice of five main ships. The X-Wing, A-Wing, Snowspeeder, Y-Wing, and the V-Wing. But on top of that, you have lots of ships that can be unlocked, like the Millennium Falcon and the TIE Interceptor. Now there is a story to Rogue Squadron, but who cares? You aren't going to remember it because you just want to fly starfighters around and blow up stuff! Yeah! All except for Jabba's Palace, that is. When this game came out, I kept trying to blow up Jabba's Palace, but it is impossible. <laughs> but let's talk about the levels. For the Nintendo 64, these levels look beautiful, and there's a lot of areas to explore and get ambushed in. But when all the TIE Fighters are on screen, it is go time and it is straight up fun. That is the word I use for this game. If you ask me to define it in one word, fun. So along with showing the Empire who's boss, there are a ton of awesome codes you can enter in. Like, if you put in the word blame us, it will give you a picture of the production crew. Or the password chicken will allow you to play a bonus mission as a scout walker. DIE EMPIRE DIE! And what about the code Psylocke that puts one of the developers heads on Luke on the main screen? Uh, no Olivia Munn. Dang. And then there is a code that turns the V-Wing into a Buick. That is some grade A sense of humor right there. It's just so funny, a car trying to destroy a world devastator. BRILLIANT! And this video would not be complete if I didn't address the fact that there is a Naboo Starfighter that can also be unlocked. Now I can hear you saying, so what, the Naboo Starfighter is in the game. Big deal. Well, yeah, it was a big deal. You gotta realize this was 1998, and Episode 1 wasn't going to be out for another half year. So the fact that this was hidden away in the game blew our minds. So you know what? Just in time for Rogue One, turn on your Nintendo 64 and relive the greatness that is Star Wars Rogue Squadron.